Pikewood uh, National Golf Club is in Morgantown, West Virginia. Um, it's approximately uh, 11 miles from downtown uh, on the Kingwood Pike. Uh, it's at an elevation of about 2,200 feet and drops uh, on the front nine down to about 1,900 uh, uh, feet. It, you know, and if it's raining in, this, in the winter, as an example, uh, it'll be snowing at Pikewood. It uh, is unusual terrain uh, in that it's more like a mesa than it is sitting on top of a mountain. You know, around West Virginia, we think of the mountains, but really at Pikewood, uh, you can, you know, as I said, I think earlier, you can see, you know, 30, 40 miles out, or in some places even far, further than that. Uh, the uh, windmills in Davis, West Virginia, you can see from the 14th green. Uh, that's about an hour's drive from Pikewood National. Uh, but it's uh, unusual too, I think, to the extent I've, I've lived in Morgantown most of my life. And uh, you would not anticipate, I don't think, the um, uh, elevation or the views uh, that close to downtown Morgantown. Uh, it just is... Uh, something uh, you know uh, to behold and I think that in you know golf course uh, construction and design uh, the great architects I believe uh, all you know try to build a course uh, you know toward natural beauty and and then the golf course would sort of take care of itself that's a sort of a simplified fact I think at uh, Pikewood because everywhere you go uh, you see something that's uh, very unusual although very natural in a very natural setting. Uh, there are rock outcroppings, waterfalls, streams, uh, trees, uh, just an, an abundance of natural hazards uh, and natural beauty that uh, really become as a golf course, I think, indistinguishable uh, from nature. It's just a beautiful place to go. Uh, we um, uh, are very appreciative of Golf Digest uh, uh, naming us as one of the uh, top 100 courses in the world. Uh, Golf Digest uh, came out with this new ranking for the first time uh, this year. Uh, it's in the February edition uh, of Golf Digest and it lists 100 courses, uh, 40 of which are in the United States uh, and uh, that's you know extremely gratifying I think for us as a relatively new course. Most of the courses in the top 100, I'd say probably two-thirds of the courses in the top 100 are somewhere in the category of 80 years to, to uh, 120 years old. Uh, they're uh, extremely uh, uh, well-known courses throughout the golf world. And uh, I should say, too, that uh, Golf Digest as a publication has the largest circulation of any golf course in the world. As part of that uh, uh, ranking, they, you know, try to look at uh, various courses. I, I believe in this particular ranking, uh, the courses are come from 18 different countries. Uh, there's 34,000 uh, estimated golf courses in the world. Uh, again, certainly humbling to find a golf course that you're associated with to be in the world's 100 greatest courses when you look at 34,000. The um, other aspect of it is that um, uh, in America, uh, there are 15,619 courses uh, and uh, only 40 of those courses are listed in the world's uh, uh, or, or in the Golf Digest uh, rankings for the 100 greatest courses in the world. So it, it's a pretty significant honor. Uh, we're very proud of the golf course and uh, what's happened uh, at Pikewood over a relatively short period of time. It's a beautiful place. Uh, we believe it makes a statement uh, for West Virginia. Uh, and it's uh, a natural resource. It just, it just, when you get out there, and you can see the property and you can see the views. Some of the views, you know, are up to 30, 40 miles. And it is absolutely one of the most beautiful places in West Virginia uh, with lots of natural features that uh, you just don't get to see on very many golf courses.